came up with this too. Three C's: communication, community, and uh, and connections. You know, and I think that is how you mitigate. I don't know. I just I was like, oh, that's a Sorry, C. Golf that's a clap, C. Dude. Yeah. Great. Okay. No. No. Keep going. Keep thank, going. Thank, thank you, bro. Um, because I'm just thinking the way that you you know uh, you can't stop the pain, but being human, we have a we have this universal connection, which is pain. Everybody feels pain. We feel it. Uh, you know, some people feel it more than others. But I think being able to connect and understand, like, hey, I'm, I'm vulnerable, mm -hmm. and this is what I'm feeling right now. And you know, the person across from you says, "Well, wow, I'm I'm feeling something similar. I don't know what it is, but I have a loss, and it's 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 it may be in a different you know uh, realm of understanding, but it's still a loss. There's something missing. There's a void that's there, you know. And I think connecting with you know the people around you, with your friends, I think that is so so important because of that vulnerability and something that's really ironic that I've heard is that social media has almost pulled us back from Ooh, that, yeah. right? It's yeah. almost like now that we have, yeah. it's, it, it's, I think it's twofold. Social media has pulled us back from connecting with the people that are around us, one. And then two, because we have social media, we have the ability to see all these terrible things going on in the world. And then we're thinking, oh my God, the world sucks. Like, what am I going to do? And it's like, well, let's look at, let's, if, if, if you bring it close to home, <laughs> you bring it close to home, <clears throat> really think about, you know, what if we connected with the people that are, that are, that are the closest to us, the people across from us, our friends, our families that are right here, right here in our own town, right here in our, in our own circle, you know, let's, let's connect on, on a, on, on more of a local level, you know, and see that, you know, things are getting better, you know, they're, 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 yes, they're bad. Things are up there. There's, there's always a cycle with everything, right? You know, yeah. but I think social media, the that twofold is, you, you you see every, you're able to connect with people, which is which is dope. You know, that's what social media is for. But then you see this bad going on and these things everywhere, and you're like, oh my god, my life sucks. And then I think you pull back from then connecting because you don't want to see that, you know. Right. And then you stop connecting with the people across from you, you know. Like when you texted us, yeah, I was like, wow, like this is it. It, it didn't come through. Uh, you know, Snapchat or Instagram or anything. It was a text, mm -hmm. and I'm so big on text. Like I, I, saw, I don't go on Instagram as much. And but when I saw the text, yeah. I was like, "What? No!" I told everybody, "I gotta, I gotta go." And I went outside, dude. Yeah. And it, it hit me. Yeah. And instantly, it's almost like like that feeling that you get before you before you cry. Mm -hmm. You know, you get you tingle. And oh, I felt yeah. that instantly. I was like, "Oh God." You know, yeah. um, I'm feeling it right now. And, you know, so I think being able to do that with the people that you love is essential, you know, because it's hard to do that with social media, but right. being able to do that just on the phone, it's so important. Yeah. I do. I, oh my God. There's so many things uh, to unpack here. Sorry. You guys are running. I'm like trying to think like, we're going to jump on that. Yeah. Um, you know, like what, what you said about community, right? And the three C's, I, I really like that. Yeah, man. Um, but the communal effort part of it and talking about social media connectivity, how we communicate with each other, you know, um, and parlaying this into the hope and, you know, kind of some of the statistical numbers with increased suicide and all that stuff. There's, there's so many different things of positives and negatives that we have to rifle through every single day. Right. And just understanding, going back to what you said, we're human. That's why, you know, it doesn't matter if you make a lot of money or you're successful or whatever that could, you know, that's a facade at, cer at certain points because different things affect us all differently, whether the different types of loss or uh, failure or things within that you know and it's one of those things where you know one i think the three of us and you know evan you're not here but love you buddy but uh <laughs> but the one thing that we have that's unique is that we do have a sense of community in this yeah right and that puts us in a very fortunate position because it's not just like we're you know people just go on these social media platforms and and it's hard you know if if you have a problem and you put let's say you're reaching out publicly Right. Which is kind of a real dicey situation yes. anyway. But, you know, I think that it stymies people from reaching out publicly because if let's say they are struggling with certain things, 
you have the ramifications that come with that, right? Where those people either talking down negatively to you or judging you, judging you, yeah. judging you. Yeah. terrible. Because that's what we all do. Oh yeah, it's what everyone does, and I don't care who you are. You you know when you read things, see things, whatever. It's not like you know. It's like sometimes you can go, oh, someone's posting something and they're having a bad time. Are they doing it because they're just trying to get attention, mm -hmm. or are they really seriously struggling? Why do I even have that thought process? I think it's because you have Why to put is it in a bucket. No, I right. I know. Yeah. I, I just mean yeah. like if I if I see someone you know the post something I'm like oh that's kind of a stretch right. you know what I mean yeah. are you doing it for attention or are they really struggling oh yeah like put, and, put putting on social and, media right yeah, yeah um, and you, then and then the other half of me goes why are you even thinking that mm. you know like who am I to say that someone's not having like this is maybe this is their outcry and what a dick am I if I'm shitting on someone who's having a bad day whether it is for attention or maybe they're really going through something you know and and I, I feel like that's probably not an uncommon thought process. No. You know, but that's that's where we're at. So when I like what you said, Sam, when you're talking about how the text messaging, the phone calls, you know, if we're struggling with something, you know, and like like Tim, you reach out, we we talk. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or if Sam, if you need something, we t you know, we'll talk about it, right? And and that's so important in the process of dealing with, you know, failure, loss, what have you. And it's a unique position that we can all have that not a lot of people have that mm -hmm. or maybe have that at certain levels. Right. So it's kind of like going back to what you're talking about with hope. Mm. What is that? What is hope to people? Well, you know, I, I could give you my explanation of it or maybe what I think that it should be. And it maybe varies from you guys or maybe we're all on the same page within it. But when we're seeing like these numbers, when we're talking about suicides and other things like that, it's such a. It's such a sad thing to really think about because it's like, one, there's always going to be one-offs, always. But and it's like, what were the numbers? We said it was like up 30% or something for the last 20 years. I'm sure this whole, um, you know, uh, pandemic right. that dealt with obviously boosted a lot of those numbers because of different things. But now it's like, I, I, and I was trying to find this last year, right? And it was still the numbers are kind of high, you know? And it's like, you're not going to save everybody, but I feel like as a country or as a just humans in general, like we need to be a little bit more open with the fact that not everyone lives the same lives that we do, you know, and even in that to still people struggle. So it's having that open form of communication, whether it is if you're going to punt it out there to the Internet, <laughs> you know, you know there, on, there are man. some good people out there, you know, and just like there are some really shitty people who handle things and thinking everything's super negative, you know. So it's like, you know, finding those situations like Tim, you're describing with the beach. Yeah. Having those outlets, you know, and maybe the, the beach isn't for everybody. Right. You know, I would I would tend to lean that that's my ultimate reset, mm -hmm. you know, because when you're out there, all those things you listed, you kind of check out the things that you're thinking about are important. Why? Because like you're trying to catch the next wave, you're trying to stay focused, you're trying to be able to stand up, pick your ride, see, you know, kind of envision what you're doing as you're doing it. And those situations take you away. So finding that, I would say to help bolster the feeling of hope is having those those things to fall back on, whether that's, you know, reading a book, whether that's writing, whether drawing pictures, getting outside in nature, you know, or just giving yourself five minutes every morning to like take a deep breath and tell yourself that this is what you're going to do today, you know, and I'm guilty of not doing a lot of those things when I should because life is a lot sometimes and, you know, but you have to really fall back on those things. Now that could be something as simple as going outside and walking around for five minutes, or it's waking up in the morning and praying, you know, and I'm a terrible, terrible, um, example of that. Cause I feel like I say a lot of things that I wish that I could follow through on. No and that's same, bro. And that, well, <laughs> yeah, that's we one of them. That, that's yeah. one of them because I honestly, I find myself in the situation like you're talking about most of the time is that when I am praying, I'm angry mm, because yeah. something either bad happened or, you know, maybe something didn't go the way that I thought it was going to and puts extra pressure in certain situations. And it's like, why is my relationship with, you know, God sometimes through prayer, at least a lot of the time seems to be an aggressive one. I wonder if the reason for that is because it's not done enough. Hunter, right. Absolutely. Right. Because when you're communicating and it's through anger, that means that there is a lack of communication. You know, it's like, well, God, why are you doing it? I mean, 
Where well, have you been, bro? Uh, like you're just coming at me now? <laughs> you well, know, I've I, been here. Yeah. <laughs> if there's like a uh, like, I always kind of envision it as like an old school, like uh, you know, when you when you'd call and then you have oh, the yeah, yeah. person, but they're plugging uh, you into the the, the operator, person, the operator yeah. right? So if there's an operator system in heaven, they're just like, dude, he's back again, <laughs> and he's angry. <laughs> He's so angry. Something didn't work out his way. Yeah. He's pissed. Here you go. Yeah, Jordan, no. please hold. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I get a lot of please holds, but then I please also hold. feel like that's yeah. for a reason too. Yeah. You know, and to go and to, and you said it exactly. It's because it's not enough. Yeah. The open community. And I'm not saying that everyone has to be religious. I just mean that when, when you're choosing to go down that route of prayer, and it's always in reflection of something that didn't go your way. Mm -hmm. It's not like, where were you on the days of like, I had a fantastic day. Right. Thank you so That's much good. for my That's life, good. my right. family, my work, my everything. Yes. I miss a lot of those days. Yes. I miss a lot of them. And I feel like, actually just talking this out loud, really, I really 